Dodgers was like twelve when he was threatening to like beat people up and Do- shit. Dodgers, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Dodgers is Dodgers is always that people that people or is always that that player that people talk about. <laughs> I can see Will being like, "Damn, how am I fucking with this kid?" Anymore? He was literally twelve talking about like Atlanta. I'm gonna beat your fucking ass <laughs> like to grown ass men. <laughs> And then when we get there, he's just like walking around with his dad the whole time. His dad's like telling him, you can't lose your fucking phone. (laughs) (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Optic Podcast. We're live here from Hold the Mic Studios. (laughs) Let me actually address something here. It's been raining for 17 straight days in Texas. It's raining all week, too. Yo, I'm not going to lie. I I was in a little bit of a... Of a good mood this morning. I was sitting here jamming on the way here. You listen to Beat Nuts. It was good. I had to remind me of Chicago. I did that this morning. What? Listen to Beat Nuts? Drove no, here? Just Beat Nuts. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. What is it's, Beat Nuts? <laughs> it's probably a rapper from the, it's like the 1730s. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's rappers. It's, it's these rappers, out, rappers? Of, out of New York. Really fun rap. Really, really fun, fun rap. rap. Yeah, talk like about. Beastie Boys? No, not that fun. <laughs> okay, it's just it's, it's a little bit <laughs> yeah, super fun. Says, it's just like, come on, man. The super, I just didn't super know what fun rap meant. No, it's it's. Am a, I? A, I feel like a rapper. I actually got to say, <laughs> you're all that shit. I was like, I feel like a rapper. I like, feel like right the, the second, any time that I'm talking into this podcast, I'm gonna just wave my hands around and then you know point just, at point yeah. at people. And, but like, you're still just podcasting. But you're just like, yo, yesterday. We uh we played some GBs. <laughs> we together. got fucking schwacked. <laughs> Wait, did you really? Dude, it was bad. We played a team that was three and two on G. Well, first we played <laughs> a team. We played a team that was zero and three, and we beat them two. Who, we who, who, who? It was me, Davis, Ace, Nick, and Mike. Damn! Holy shit! Yeah. So, but it, we're also thinking about like, man, yeah. back in the day, if I saw a three and two GB team, we'd be like, hell uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat food during this match. Bro, <laughs> now, now it, we'll see. It was never like, like it was never like this, dude. <laughs> we played a GB variant hard point. We played two hard point maps. It was uh, what, what was it? Hacienda and uh, I can't. Remember. Oh, we played Summit. Black Ops One Summit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We lost two fifty to seventy first map, two fifty <laughs> to eighty the second map. Yeah, it was bad, dude. Nick went six and thirty two. Jesus. The first map. That could have been like part of the reason. Yeah, yeah. that could have uh, been. No, I, you found the reason right there. <laughs> Ace was probably the, tweeting some emotional. Like he was probably texting Maniac. Uh, Bro, his inspirational quotes. Dude, but those t- are actually so funny. Between Ace and Nick, I I can't. My like blood. I have to like. I have to know that they're ready before I play with them again. Because <laughs> did, did, did you blood- get it all? Did you get out of your system? Did you and him talk already? Okay, I let's play together. Is no, that what you mean no, but that <laughs> too. I can see where you're coming from, but like Nick and Ace were trying to figure out how to add each other on PS4. Dude, I all I heard was, "Wait, so what? Bru- what button do I press? Wait, you get? I need an invite, but you <laughs> haven't invited me." Dude, I tried to I tried to invite Nick for like 20 <laughs> minutes, and he didn't realize that he had his privacy settings like turned so nobody could send him messages. He was like, "I'm not getting any of this." Dude. <laughs> It was like, I just invited you five times. <laughs> There's like eight-year-olds who invited each other to play Fortnite that are like, it's like nothing for them. And then you get it is. Like, it was so I always said that like the probably the most frustrated I've like ever been was going to that uh, that Halo land when PAX when Mike retired. Mm-hmm. And it was like Mike, Nick, Ace, and like two other people. I forgot who. Oh, Cleet, Cloud. Um, and we were all trying to figure out where to eat. And they were literally... Halo pros, dude. You think COD pros are bad? Halo pros, they'll stand around and they'll just go. So where do y'all where do y'all want to eat? And then like the nobody co- will answer. The conversation resets. You wanna, yeah. You want to go to Ibiza maybe? And then like five minutes later, it's like. So where are we gonna eat? And I'm sitting there. I'm sitting over there like, oh my god, like I'm gonna lose I, my. I, mind. I totally thought that conversation was gonna go something like, Ace, add me, Nick. I can't add you. All right, well, but we're friends in real life, which transcends <laughs> anything and everything that has ever been seen in this world. And the transcendence of our friendship shall motivate and inspire that yeah. that populace that lives in and out of consciousness. That sounds about that's, right. Yeah. Did any of you guys get the PS4 right. brick? I didn't. I, I, I brick. Brick. Dude, you see I that? I told, well, bro. I told Will how to fix it. <laughs> What's like, a PS4 good. brick? So right now, if you get a sent a certain message, oh. it just it 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 shuts your console to a point where you have to factory reset it for it to work again. And do you have to be on COD in order for that? Nope, to happen? any game. So, like for example, I saw what people were what kids were doing was like in uh, Rainbow Six that has like a fully built out ranking system. Mm-hmm. 
kids to see the enemies in the team. They have a dummy account that just sends five messages. Do you know what? I was trying to figure out what the message. It's a, it's was. like some word and it's like. It's just a bunch of letters. It, no, and it's numbers. something like that. It's literally like a word, like a heart emoji, and like something else, and it just that like <laughs> cripples your system. Do you remember when that happened on iPhone a few years ago? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it wasn't yeah. even a few years ago. It was like six months. It was like a year ago. It was. No. It, it was happened to Seth. I, that's how I yeah. know about it. Oh, but real? yeah, some dude named Get Bricked LOL sent him a message. <laughs> and, and he happened to Dashy it. too. And it just literally just like you have to factory reset your console. That's it's wild. Like, that's what you do. Um, I, I was telling Will how to fix it, but I forgot until the very last second that it brings up your email address. Oh, uh, yeah, that happened. And I was like, I was like, uh, he was like, how do you do it? And I was telling him, and then I was like, wait, wait, but before you do it, it brings up your email address. And then I look at his stream, and he had just brought it up, and he was like, oh, shit, it does do that. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't checked my email this morning. I probably need to. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, it, the, the the amount of email stuff that I get on my business email Wires. that are just like, hi, I'm a big fan. Can we play re- duos in Fortnite? I'm like, yeah. <sighs> One guy asked me for a loan the other day. <laughs> sure. Like, what? <laughs> he, do- he donated in my stream first while I was playing, and he left his phone number like as a donation. I was like, that's bold as fuck, dude. <laughs> like, I can't believe you did that. And then he finally <laughs> sent me an email address and told him to email me whatever it was because he donated in the stream. And he was like, hey, can, I, can you text me real quick? I got like a business proposition. And then I checked the email, and he had this long, drawn-out thing talking about how he's got all these business ideas or something and needs a loan. But it was like philosophy. Yeah. Like he was going to teach a philosophy. Did you forward it to Nick and Ace? I probably <laughs> should. That's, yeah. that's the way they should go. Yeah. In it already. Yeah. No. Yeah, they they probably probably are. Are. Well, it is their business. Ace he's, probably he's their sent sales it. Person. Yeah, that's probably Ace that sent the <laughs> message. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> is it? I, I I don't want to. I, I no no we love them. I, I don't want to be the fly in the wall in that in that room in Ibiza because they were together. Th- think about being those two together for a week straight in a paradise, just living life and explaining to each other what living life meant to them. True. It's probably some deep conversations in that hotel room. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. Anyway, I mean, Nick Nick came back. He streamed three days straight. He's uploading. He's trying to grind out. He's on the health recording. grind again. He, yeah, he's is he? So I must have he been, he must raided have. me yesterday. So thank thank him. There we go. Yeah, yeah it all works. I mean, he, he was like, dude, streaming in the morning is the wave. And I was like, you mean streaming forty eight hours straight is isn't the wave? The wave? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Dude. But he was like, dude, I streamed, and then Dashy hosted me for like. 5k viewers and i was like dang imagine being dashy going from being just the S D star yeah and getting he never got that sort of viewership before no, 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 no. <laughs> i'm obviously joking of course he didn't you're welcome dash no i like <laughs> um, i like dashy it's a joke it's a joke um i really like dashy he was here he was boot camping out of my studio when uh when he was in with complexity right before right before uh we Placed what twenty fourth at champs? Uh, was it That's who he was playing for. He was on complexity. Yeah, he was on complexity. But man, the kid's nasty, dude. Oh, that, I remember, yeah. I remember him stepping into into the studio, and we were just having a casual conversation. Then he goes on to tell me that which should never be told to me ever by anyone that he used to be part of a sniper clan. And yeah. then, I'm, it, oh yeah, and then, oh, I'm, and then I'm like, which 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 one? Uh, no matter what the answer was, I was gonna be like, yeah, you know, like, it could have been give him a little, could have been the craziest thing ever. Actually. <laughs> Not me. Like, Could it be me? Face. Like, <laughs> Wins, not spins. <laughs> Dude, he. Uh, I actually did the first ever interview with Dashy at the uh, at his first event. I mean, he came in. We did it for like a one of the MLG like little show segments. Yeah. And I've I've always you know had a lot of respect for the kid. He's someone that uh, I've I've preached to him and Illy from like two years ago. Like you guys got to build your personality yeah. side of things too. Like you'll you'll see you know so much success with that. I played. I mean, I think I might have told you this, but I, I played a 3v3 one-and-done in IW, or 3v3 tournament in IW with them. It was a one-and-done. And the entire tournament, across the entire thing, I got four kills. It was semis and finals. I got four kills. We won gold, and it wasn't close. The, I've never felt more secure of what was going on on the map than when it was Illy and Dashy, who are like the duo, just calling things out. They were like, Jack, we'll cover all five lanes on this terrible <laughs> IW map. Yeah. You just watched this one flank. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. That was one of those things. I was like that guy in the kitchen from that one by like, <laughs> I was like, that ain't no problem. Dude, that, that's that ain't no problem. Dude, when that all no of problem. them get together, like Dashy, Illy, Cilium, uh, 
uh, simp or just yeah, a, a, simp, any of those, all of those when you watch him play it's just like Wow. Damn, Dude. So did Dashy leave like his duo to join Optic? Or? No, well, Illy, so duo. Illy's only 16. Yeah. So basically, when Illy turns 18, Seth's getting yeah, kicked. Yeah, Seth's gone. Seth's yeah, 100. For sure. I'll bet that right now. Yeah. Seth's going to be. Cool. When you want, you want Scum's expiration body. date? <laughs> you want Scum's expiration date? It's whatever D- Illy's 18th birthday is. To over my dead body. Well, hit me. Believe that. <laughs> Illy, it, it, I've believe seen that. It, it, believe Illy switched that. to Fortnite for three days and won a $10,000 Fortnite tournament. So I've seen it all up from that kid. Yeah. Bro, he's yeah. No, he's actually. Let's not let's not talking nice. about it before Illy? people start like yeah. you know high pricing this kid, courting him really early on. You know, as who was were, were there people like that when you were playing? Because obviously you've been playing for so long. As that Dodgers right? was like twelve when he was threatening to like beat people up and Do- shit. Dodgers, and, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Dodgers is Dodgers is always that people that people or is always that that player that people talk about. <laughs> I can see will be like. Damn, all right, I'm not fucking with this kid. Bro, he was literally 12, talking about, like, Atlanta, I'm going to beat your fucking ass. <laughs> like, to grown-ass men. <laughs> and then when we get there, he's just, like, walking around with his dad the whole time. His dad's, like, telling him, you can't lose your fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, all right, Dad, sorry. Dude, I had no idea he was 12. Yeah, he was 12. Well, he's still 12. He's fucking wild. <laughs> uh, what about your boy Halifax? Was he? How old was he? I don't know. He's a fucking Well, he was also a dude. Mental right? Wait, who was the other guy? Ex- Exile. Remember Exile? Yeah, he was right there. Too, I'm sure he's in a mental asylum somewhere. <laughs> oh, Jesus, God. bro, dude. Well, those throwback things don't like talking about throwback events and stuff. See that scar that I have right there, like that little that little. Hey, you got in a fight? No, so I was at a Halo Three LAN, <laughs> and I was having to get off. I, I had to go to confirmation practice, so I had to leave the du- the duos tournament early. I knew I had like only five hours to play. What's confirmation practice. Confirmation was like uh, it's like in the Catholic Church, like when you oh to get, get baptized, yeah, get baptized or well, no communion. No confirmation. <laughs> Definitely confirmation. There's baptism, <laughs> like, the communion, which is like third grade. I went communion, through it. Gospel and music, the choir. He just so made up every day. <laughs> the, you were becoming a priest. The sermon. It's a sermon. No. The, 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 the wine. It was like Jesus ninth juice. grade. I was going through the ropes with all that Jesus. stuff. 200. I was going the actions. But like, I knew I had to leave. So I was outside talking on the phone. And I'm like, all right, yeah, you can pick, like, you can come pick me up. And as I was putting my phone down, a woman who was out there was like smoking a cigarette was taking her cigarette out and going like this. And like as I was turning the corner, like, like, I went like, down like this. Her hand went down with the cigarette and just. And I just remember going like, "Oh God!" <laughs> and then I had to go in and play a two v two with Ezra. If and, you're out there in the world, Ezra. And that's why you lost. And we lost. We lost twenty five, twenty four pit duos. Um, we had rockets and sniper, and there was one botched call out, and it cost us. Cost us that round. I've never felt more secure. Like if we're going to win this game, we have rockets and snipe, and we've got all the cover in the world. And we, we definitely lost it. When was this? <laughs> this was 2000 and 2008, maybe. And you still have the... 2009? Oh, I know. This is like a straight-up scar. That that little <laughs> thing right there. That, he, that little... It's so small, but that was like the n- only part that scarred right there. He said it's straight really up. Cigarette. Straight up. Yeah, straight up. That's my g- gang shit right there, baby. <laughs> I'm living a tough life, man. <laughs> yeah. With my McDonald's some classic. Some old lady burn me with a cigarette. <laughs> some mom at a Halo, <laughs> Halo Land. Edge of Halo Land, dude. Those, those Jack's been lands. fighting moms since 2008, <laughs> man. No, but dude, seriously. I was telling Hitch, and I, you probably experienced something similar, too. Like, those old, like, locals were always so, like, hustle like like the guy the people running it like nj halos they were great it was fun but like i'd beat someone in winners round one and i'd be in winners round four and i'd face the same team because they bought back in for twenty dollars <laughs> i'd be like i'd be like hold up <laughs> there was 36 teams in this tournament we're in winners round four and now there's 43 <laughs> how are we going up in teams? and it was really because like you just walk back to the front and be like hey I, like you're at a fucking arcade, you're like buying more tokens. I, seriously, uh, I got another twenty dollar bill. Let me back in. I'd be like, oh, hold the phone. You you never progress. There was, there was no winner. Yeah, oh, those, there's oh, uh, there's man. a hard knocks. Do you, are you guys from those hard knocks? It's like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. A, a paintball thing. Hard like, uh, laser tag, laser tag, hard knocks is the name of the is, is the name of the of the thing. There's oh, one here. The, and the the, t- the TV show Hard Knocks. No, no, no. So there's there's a there's there's a laser tag place called Hard Knocks, and there's one here, I believe, in Frisco, uh, by the seven no by the Home Depot, and I saw it, and it reminded me that was the first land I ever went to, ever in my life, and that was the first time I ever met somebody who I've been playing online with for a very. That's the first time I met Hasro. In 2008, we were playing Call of Duty. What was Call of Duty? Here or you went to the one in like Florida? Or I went to one in Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. To the one in Florida. I went oh. there. 
uh, to play Call of Duty 4. There's a tournament. Um, I think we beat Moho. Who do we beat? We beat, I don't know. I think it was because I think he's the one that like used to post those pictures of you guys there. Like Assassin was there, yeah. Moho, you, Jay. Did yeah. beat Moho? He, yeah, man. Moho <laughs> not. No. <laughs> don't I bring don't the VODs. Bring yeah, up the I'll, VODs. I'll, I'll need some VODs for anyway, I came in, I, we came in third place. was me, Carlton, uh, and Jay. Anyway, um, it was it was pretty cool and it just flashback. So what's up with everybody <laughs> and their blackouts life? Dude, I, I love those old throwback things, man. Dude, I, that was a real good transition. Woo. Wow. All right. Yo, that for real, I, I I will say this about blackout. I hate the fact that I have to play on PC because it hurt. I don't. I can't do this <laughs> this thing. This this and me just don't go along. I just don't know. I I burned myself yesterday with Molotov. Because Dude, I went to it throw so it, but I, I went to throw it, but I instead I injected myself, and then I'm like, oh shit, it's the bottom button. So I press the bottom button, as so I threw it into the tree, and it splashed back on me, and I'm running around like Ricky Bobby, <laughs> and, and, the, and I'm like, oh Lord Jesus, please. Put oh me. no, we're like in an intense ass fight. Like TP and I are like pitch, picking up flanks, like fizz the other person, so he's like calling out, not really doing much damage. Um, and like, TP's like in straight up war mode, like knock two, knock two. Hector's like, <laughs> Hector's like, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. I am, bro. I was on fire. It's true. Yo, you just it like, was so clicked funny. the wrong button, or what are you doing? Yeah. So on my on my G502, I have heal on yeah. the on the top button, and then I have grenades at the bottom. Same. So I'm like, I'm like, oh shit, I got shot, and I'm like, Ksh. and I'm like, that's not that's not heal, man. That's that's, that's a Molotov. <laughs> that's, that's, and yesterday, remember when I was laying down in the truck yesterday, when you were like, yeah. oh, I see you, bro. I literally was like throwing. Dude. throwing stuff because and i was throwing them there, was, throwing them. there was a moment we were, we were at white barn outside uh firing range and we're like we have a whole team coming in and we've all been like tagged by him they've got good shots hector i see like we had the big one of the cargo trucks that spawns right out there hector like gets in the back of it bro when i say it was like watch it was like they, they couldn't see any of us and then all four of them at once saw hector's head peek up in yeah, this no. cargo truck and it was like this <laughs> like like all four guns start hitting and i just see hector doing this <laughs> do you remember? Do you like, re- like it's fucking D Day? <laughs> do you do you remember? The, do you remember the opening scene of Gladiator where they let the let's like let, let they let the arrows loose and it's just like that's how it looked. I'm I looking swear. Up, bro, I'm, and I'm trying to heal, but I'm instead of pressing the wrong button, so I'm throwing Molotovs and I'm Jesus. not throwing them towards them. I'm throwing them to oh. wherever it doesn't come. Oh, to I, I mean, when I say they were like when I say Hector, literally. <laughs> When I say, I, I was in the top barn looking down. So I was like this, man, I got to be careful. I can't peek. Like, I'm popping smokes to cut off sight lines. I just see Hector do this. He mantles into the truck. So first time I see, and you know how it like automatically makes you stand up? Shows the top of his forehead, and it was like this. <laughs> and the thing is like. You know, no, but I was, I was, I did, I did hit him with my KN a couple of times, and it was just didn't do enough damage. And KN is that I, gun, bro. I, I got to get down. I get down and I'm going to heal in any way. What I can't figure out is if the same, it's got to be the same damage statistics throughout all of the modes, right? Blackout and multiplayer. Because, like, Blackout, I hate the ICR, but multiplayer, the ICR rips. Oh, like, for, for me, I hate the SOG in, in Blackout. Yeah. But then, like, in multiplayer, apparently, the SOG is, like, the main SMG yeah, people it's like are the using. Sub, no. um, I, haven't, I haven't touched custom games yet, so I'm not really, I haven't put experience myself. Seth, Seth's been using the Vepper all day. The VAPR, the vapor, yeah, the vapor, yeah. What I say, the vapor, the vapor. I thought it was like a, I thought it was like a SMG. Yeah, well, the vapor was an SMG. The Vespa Ghost. was an SMG, and the vapor was an SMG and Ghost. Holy shit, fucking do well. Um, but it? all I can say is this: now that Blackout is uh, not no longer frame capped on PC, and I'm getting 144 frames at all seconds, it, it, it I, I literally had a moment where I was on. I think it was with TP. We were playing that duos tournament, and we literally both started laughing because we got in a crazy ass fight, and it felt so good. And we literally just went. I was like, Tyler, Call of Duty did it. They literally put out a game on PC that, that as Doc said, this is what he's been waiting for since he started a triple A BR. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, Fortnite and all that stuff has oh, they've, they've already hit it. They've already done it. But I I can't believe that Call of Duty has done it. I was watching zombie streams, and I'm seeing these. I was watching. Oh, I was watching your you, you playing with them. Mm-hmm. Um, and you guys were on like round whatever you were with like Rizma trying to discuss like what the with Damon too right with like what the you, you were like oh this pharaoh every time you walk by it talks <coughs> the set. easter eggs yeah so they and dropped like, four four maps off the start and they all have their own easter eggs and like I'm watching these gladiator zombies like throw like axes or whatever so I'm like wait zombies has all this then you've got the fully built out blackout then you've got multiplayer which I'm seeing camos that like 
Have you seen what some of the camos do? Yeah. Uh, the diamond and the sniper. The oh, diamond. Geez. The diamond. If you hit a thirty-five streak, if you go nuclear with the with the with the with the, with your gun, it it has a rainbow flow for the rest of the match that like everyone knows. Like you only get it for that match, and it like. It goes. It looks insane. You've never seen it yet. No, I got oh, pulled up. Nasty, bro. They have it more built out than. You ever. have to get the diamond camo on the gun and then go nuclear. In, and then for the in rest that of game that game, and only for that game, it stays. So That's I was, rare it is. I was opening up um, a package today on my vlog uh, from from uh, th- that the PlayStation Ultra, where it's got the sarcophagus that you open up. And, yep, yep, yep. And I, I I remember like looking over to camera and saying, "This is by far the best Call of Duty ever." Right. And I'm not talking about the multiplayer. I'm not talking about the zombies. I'm not talking about anything. I, it, it hasn't been a single. There hasn't been a single Call of Duty in the past. Like even from Ghost, when I had that amazing, amazing life playing with Old Men of Optic, and even in, in Modern Warfare Remastered, where I got to relive my favorite game of all time, I've never had as much fun playing a BR like that or, or a multiplayer the way that I've been playing that. And I had a ton of fun playing Fortnite. That's why I love Fortnite. The fact that I was cross platform being able to play with my, my friends from high school but this one man i played the entire day and i couldn't believe that i i, I I'm, I'm staring at my, at my screen when i got to my office and then by the time game three was over i look over and everything is dark like outside my time was sucked like that and i just i'm like man this is what i've been waiting for Did you see like the so metacritic scores like black ops 4 for like 10 out of 10 well for the first time in like seven years it's above like an 88 oh really like like I mean, granted, they put Black Ops 2 at an 83 uh, in the Metacritic, but, like, M- the top ones was, like, COD 4 was, like, 94. MW2 was, like, 94. Those were, like, the peaks. Yeah. But then this one is, like, 89 or something, <clears throat> like, right? Oh, dude, it's so good. Yeah, somebody in my stream was asking me. They're like, man, I haven't gotten the game yet. Do you think it's worth the 60 bucks? And I'm just thinking, like, there has never been a COD that's yeah. more worth the 60 yeah. It's literally, like, three different games in one with how much content they dropped for zombies multiplayer blackout like as soon as you get bored of one you just hop on the other I, t- I told i told the same some other person asked me that i told him to go to blockbuster and rent it first to try it out well that's a tough thing that people ask and stream like i've got a, a, a million times with fortnite skins for example they're like is the new skin worth the money i'm like first off everyone's twenty dollars is worth a different amount to them right if you only have twenty dollars to spend on one skin relative right it's it's the, i can't say I buy every skin because people want to see me use the new skin. I was skins. about to say, if you're not streaming or like creating content, maybe it wouldn't right? be. But. If someone, right now, if someone goes, I love single player games. Man, I'm really itching for Blackout. I can only buy one game this holiday season. With Red Dead Redemption coming out next week, it's like, I would probably recommend playing that over Blackout. If that's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it all depends on what you like. Yeah. Why? And, what would, would you recommend that? Well, if it's I'm a, saying if they can only buy one game and they it. love single player games. Like, oh, but, they, but, oh, they're, oh. Uh, but the hype of Call of Duty is like making them want to get it. It's like... Wait a week, and you got arguably what's going to be the biggest game of the. It is, is that I mean, one week from. It's like nine days or something like that. Ooh, will do that? The last time <laughs> the, be so howdy, good, the last time they released Rockstar full released a game with like GTA Five, for example, it was a billion dollars in three days. The biggest entertainment release of all time. Yeah. It was the number one biggest entertainment release ever. Like movies, a big weekend for a movie is like four hundred million, like a yeah. massive weekend, and yeah. and and they did. It. One billion in three days. Yeah. Holy shit. I, I mean, but even played GTA Five. Yeah, Crazy. me either. And, and and I like it's not that, but I mean, Call of Duty's been doing this from the beginning of time, man. Since since what is uh, I think it was Modern Warfare Two is when they started making a billion a year. It's insane. Well, it's, Insanity. It's, it's also crazy that uh, because of I think really just because of Fortnite, people have been like, hey, is it worth? Is it worth it to spend this? Because it's free, you mean. $6 on a game. And I'm just like, I've been paying $60 for every COD for the last 10 yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we just we just talked on the way here. It's like, and Vaughn knows, and he said it in his interviews, but now is when the main part of their job comes out. It's like, you've got to keep people on the game. What are they going to do to keep it fresh? How do, yeah. how do the other weapons work? What are the in-game events? What are the rare modes that happen? What do they do to keep the game on par with the updates that happened with Fortnite. They've right been now, talking about that recently, right? Just updating the game more. I don't know if it'll to. be weekly, but... No, they, they, I mean, they, they, they have no option but to. Right. It's sort yeah. of thing. It's like, I when people like, Blackout's so much better, sure, you can like that style of game more, yeah. but you cannot, in right now, say that Blackout is a better overall BR experience without any cross-platform, without any Correct. updates that have come true. in. It's just not. True. Yeah. It's just not. Very true. Very, very true. They've got, Especially think, with the looting system, like li- there's so many things that Fortnite is just, it's well defined. It's it's you know everything just works perfectly. It's crazy to think that like complaint. loot popping out in Fortnite is arguably the biggest thing that changed their BR because 
it just transcends every, you could just have the loot pops out and on any platform that's the best way to loot it's like you just yeah. see it on the ground you go i want that i want that instead of having to Especially go to if the you menu. automatically pick up like ammo and stuff they got to do that because that's yep. probably the only reason i would play blackout on pc because ps4 it's still so clunky yeah. i'd say it's even worse than the beta was to be honest as far as like going in a bag and like yeah. trying to scroll to the right and it freezes then you got to go in and out of the bag you go, yeah you'll go like, up on the d-pad down yeah yeah dude but i clunky. It, like watching like i was watching shroud and like he's got it to a point now where, yeah like, what game is he playing dude i trust me <laughs> Did you see the fight of him him fighting Tim the Tat Man? It was great. It's like a uh, little trend on on Twitter on uh, YouTube right now. I see like my recommended. But uh, Tim was playing with you know Action Jackson, Trevor May, and Flom, and they know that Shroud's in the game, and Shroud's with his team that like they just always dominate with. So like, there's a moment they're like all the top six in teams, and they know like Shroud's still in the game, he's still alive. <laughs> Trevor May gets knocked by someone random, and Shr- and Tim he's like pick me up, pick me up, and Tim's like Tim literally goes like I could feel it. Shroud's coming. Like, he says it like it was a boss. Yeah. And they go to pick up Trevor. Then I know where he's just like, Phew. and like, it's like a bullet whizzing past him. And then they're like, no, 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 no. And then I know where Trevor starts getting beamed. And Tim's like, it's them. It's got to be them. <laughs> Next, you know, you look at the kill feed. It's like, Shroud knocks Trevor May. And Tim's like, I knew it. I knew it. It's happening. Yeah. Tim, like, hides behind the tree for a second. Peeks like a... You, you, all, all you hear is of his armor getting broken. Like you know, he's getting knocked. Tim's like Tim like tries to put one shot down. Next thing you know, a molly lands right, uh, or he gets knocked. Shroud throws a molly, and like the way he gets killed by Shroud is his, his body just burns. And Tim's like, "Fuck you, Trevor!" Like all this stuff. Like I knew it. But oh, it's like Shroud's in your lobby. You're just like, I can't. I've never experienced anything like. Like obviously, I've played people with really good aim. Yeah. I've, but obviously, as like a console person you i don't know what that's like yeah. imagine going into a cs match and like you have to play like somebody who hasn't missed since 98 like they just don't miss you that's- will never experience something in gaming except for when you experience facing a ridiculous opera in csgo yeah. like if you watch when you yeah. watch like those those top guys like guardian yeah, he yeah. plays on such a low sense but like when they hold that angle and they and like people will try to jump peak they'll try to pop and, and you just see them go like this and yeah like and you're yeah. just right back. That's what people people will say. I mean, obviously Shroud's known for his aim, and his aim he is, is unreal. Yep. But he's like the only one of the only like CS:GO professionals that just kind of like stopped playing CS:GO and then were was able to show their aim in other. Yeah. But his aim is the same aim as so many other you know pros. CS:GO pros. Yeah. Which, but like now he has this huge fan base. Like, well, Shroud's the best shot of all time, and obviously Shroud's a freak. Have you seen? Have you seen the pregame live? Yes, yeah, yeah, that's that what was, I was gonna say. Where he's flicking? I was. I did that, <laughs> dude. It was like and you woke up. <laughs> it's so weird watching him play COD because COD. You know, I've I've played the same way for a decade now, where you just aim at their chest as if you can. If not, then you aim anywhere yeah. to hit them. But he'll like use a gun in blackout and he'll flick it to their head. And I'm like, I've never done that. I didn't even tried it. Yeah, I've not even tried it. I, well, and then imagine, not- and, and then imagine the the simples, right, of the world. Imagine the guardians of the world and the galaxy. Dude, just imagine loading in with like those guys and being like, oh, we got a we got a pa- we got a paladin, and you're, you just know like guardian, for example, like he just gets it. Like you just give him the paladin, and next you know you're running the map with arguably the best opera, you know. And this, and granted, I'm not as caught up with CF in the yeah, yeah. CF, but it's like imagine running around being like. Oh yeah, no. You guys want to? No, we've we've got, we've got Guardian, yeah, Paladin yeah. signing for us. Our front line is fucking Shroud, Simple, and name another CS God. It's yeah. like the people who you're in AR fights, dude. There was one moment where Shroud they started getting shot from two different areas, and Shroud's in the gunfight with this guy, like trying to stop him. Next, thing you know, the guy in this house is putting shots down on Chad from the right, and I just watched Shroud do this, like fighting this guy. He just goes like this. Hold on, peeks the right side of the tree, just goes. And like hits him four times from like 150 meters, and the guy's got to go like heal, and he's like, "We're fine from there for now. Let's keep fighting these guys." Jesus. Yeah, it, I've, I've never seen that before. I it's, I, it's like a new enemy has entered the battlefield in COD. <laughs> Yo, right? Been, it's like a new challenger approach. I've been, that's all I've been watching. Like, unless that's the streaming, uh, that's the stream that I'm watching. Unless you're streaming, what, I put Shroud? on your yeah. But Shroud is the only one. And I'm I'm just sitting there like, what the. Like how is Dude. this? How is how how is any? And then I'm like, and then I I blame myself a little bit for starting with a controller instead of the because I think that I would have been just it's, as good. No, no right. <laughs> I'm gonna just stay on PS4, dude. Well, I what, want to, man. I want to. I want to. But all my friends play, and, like, that, and that and that goes back to what I mentioned earlier is the is the cross platform side. Yeah, it's like right. it, it, dude. It, and I know there's there probably is the legalities of exclusivity things like that. Yeah. But 
just to think of how much think of how awesome, like think of how much better of an experience blackout would be if you could just load up with your friends on yeah on any platform any platform yeah and yeah. i think that that's going to be the first thing that people begin to push for yeah is is it it, it just sucks it's it's you've got xbox people playing with playstation people on fortnite and you, there's nothing on any, uh, on blackout right yeah so that's, I, what, that's what I think they need to do first. Uh, man, uh, th- that's why Fortnite is, well, bro, how are we talking about Fortnite again? Well, anyway. well now it's just, well, it's, it's not even it's that. It's comparative? Pl- Com- Blackout wouldn't be the game it was if Fortnite didn't do what it did. Simple yeah, as that. Like, sure. yeah. it's, it's not going to get the love and attention it deserves. Imagine if Fortnite was, imagine if Blackout was only going up against PUBG. Imagine if that was, oh, yeah. if that was its only competition. They would never update the it would, game. It wouldn't, it wouldn't even be a thing. Like, yeah. there would be no argument of cross-platform. The, like, like it, there would be no reason to keep improving the game on certain things, like for example, console, yeah. PUBG console, versus COD Blackout console. Oh, it's not even close. It's not even a thing. Yeah. So you, you can't even argue which is better. Yeah. You can't even run. Yeah. You'll run, and it's just like you feel like you're lagging, dude. It's, it's on what on PlayStation? No, on Xbox oh. One. Uh, PUBG. Yeah, it's uh, it's not good. And, and the amount of people that are like still trying to dance, like there's a couple of people that I follow on on Twitter that that are just like anti. Call of Duty, they've just been disenfranchised in a sense by by the by the amount of shitty games that they put on the past. And for the most part, again, you know, they they've been okay games, but this is what a triple A Call of Duty. Let, let, let a triple A aside. This is what a Call of Duty game should have been every single year, like this smooth. And, and what is it? Leave it up to Treyarch. Is Treyarch the only one playing this game? Like, is Treyarch the only one that that can come in and really make yeah, an impact right. on stuff? I mean, the, 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 the one, I mean, you own all these. You know, no offense to anyone, man. I don't want because I know a lot of people, but I just don't understand why they just don't just let Treyarch absorb all these other like you know studios and just make one big Treyarch and then just be have, please let us like, have let, one like, good let it ass be a one thousand person team that that yeah. literally Every a third year. of the company is working on just but it's all overseen by the same minds yes. or the same creative. You know they gave you know they they, they locked Vaughn in a room and said mm-hmm. Vaughn, this is you. Blackout is, is yeah. your thing. And that makes me wonder, wh- is who are they doing that for the new Infinity Ward re- release? Dude, fuck the new Infinity Ward release. <laughs> 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 this is the first time like in the history of COD that we're I already just, talking about this. Yeah, like I don't want a, a yearly it's release. Like, right? If they're dedicated to you know updating the game throughout yeah. the year, why not? This game is great. I could yeah. play this for it, years. Same. I'm wondering, and I, it's not ever going to happen, but I'm wondering if there is a point where the, the, the digital sales and the, the, the COD points spent and the in-game stuff is so high that literally Activision can say, let's just keep updating this and give it another year. How many how many incredible. years did they update Black Ops 3? So, so, so in COD's history, they had never updated a game. It was like the new game came out and the old game was dead, right? That's always yeah. how it been. Mm-hmm. Black Ops 3 was such a major success, and obviously IW had its, its more than fair share of struggles. Um that Black Ops 3 was being played so much that for the first time ever, they still put out updates, updates, new weapons, new stuff, because so many people were still spending money in the game that it was like, wait, we have to Give still incentivize something. this. Like, we yeah. still have to update this. So three years. I mean, up until the release of Black Ops 4, the game was still getting updates and new things Shh. and new snipers and new... And you got to think that was Black Ops 3. And so, I mean, you got... So Ashley and I went to this, like, uh, activation at, like, a furniture store. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, and it was just like a bunch of kids, you know, a lot of a lot of foot traffic. A bunch of kids were coming by, and then the parents would talk to us, or like older people would talk to us, and they were like, "Yeah, I used to play Call of Duty, but ever since they started doing like the the, the stuff where you can fly around and run on walls, like I didn't really play it that much. But I this one looks good. And you got to think if, like, I think I heard that five times, and we were there for two and a half hours. Yeah. If you if there's that many people, how many people are coming back, and I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just everybody loves the game. Even my friends from high yeah. school, they haven't played for like four or five years, but they've been hitting me up recently like, yo, this is the best COD in forever. Like, yeah. This, this game. And you got, oh, yeah, that's where I was, if you got to think, like if that's happening with Black Ops 3 and so many people are still buying stuff from Black Ops 3 and then you have this new wave of not only BR players and PC players coming through, but also old COD, old COD players coming back. Like the amount of money that they can make, and and you know incentive to to keep updating the day, the game and, and putting new stuff in. Just, just take my money, man, please. And it's, this might be that's what I was saying. This might be the first COD where I'm like, yo, what, where are the supply drops? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Give Trust me those. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> for them, dude. It's yeah. it's crazy to think that uh, you know at least at the end of the day, even if we think we've had a tough on COD, 
at least we've had a couple good cars in the last seven years. I mean, Halo hasn't, yeah, had, Halo. Halo, Halo Halo hasn't had a good game since September 25th, 2007, when Halo 3 released. So Ooh, free smoke, tough. free smoke. I mean, that's the truth. There hasn't been a good Halo in 11 years. Do we think about a Halo God. BR? You guys have been seeing the talk about that? I think they already confirmed that it's not happening, but... Uh, at, this point, uh, at this point, I'll take any and all BRs that are good and polished. Yeah. Give me good frame rates. Throw it on PC. Right. I mean, that's the thing with Xbox. is Xbox has infinite resources. You're telling me they can't dump enough into making whatever the best Halo how, on PC needs yeah. to be. You know, how, like how is that not? How have they confirmed that it's not happening? I mean, dude, they, they tweeted nothing. something. They said the only BR we care about is the battle rifle or something like that. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm on, I'm on to throw this handheld mic. Just imagine. I want to see like a BR game. I mean, Put first of all, any of like the Halo maps. Imagine jumping around to like pit and then running over to midship and lockout. I think iconic maps in Halo. Yeah, oh, it'd be incredible. And they could probably do like and the fact that you don't die quickly. I think is perfect for a BR. You can play solos or teams, and also just having like a set loot. Has there been a BR where you spawn in? with the same loot? Like, what if they just got rid of the looting system? I know it's, like, a huge part of yeah. VR, but I don't necessarily enjoy it, like, falling in and having to it's find true. a gun and getting all my shit. What if you just spawned in <laughs> well, with, like, a battle Halo rifle? Well, built and... around the th items on the map. Right. It would be like, oh, let's let's land at Pit Snipe yeah. and get the sniper and right. then fight for OV. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's... It would be like you're having 50 Halo matches. Holy shit, it's got chills thinking of that. <laughs> Dude, it would be like so having good. 50 Halo duo matches starting anywhere on the map. Yep. Like, there's a 2v2 land in a pit. There's a 2v2 land in here. Holy shit, that and would then, be sick. The, and then taking a warthog or a ghost anywhere. To like That's the thing, too, is it's like one of those animated type games where there's so many in-game items from like the campaign or the multiplayer that would fit. It would work. It would work. It would work. Should do but it. The, crazy stuff, the crazy thing is we're talking about, like you said, we're talking about Halo items and, and maps from 11 years ago. We're not even... I, I couldn't tell you what happened in Halo. Master Chief at this point could be a sous chef at a local <laughs> restaurant. I don't know where he's at in his, in his storyline right now. Yeah, exactly. I had not kept up at all, but like, just talking about that is is it's nuts to see that. I mean, you mentioned the 2007 like like that was the year that Gears One, Halo, and and Halo Three and COD Four released. Yeah, and like to see where all those are right now, it's crazy that it was forever for for a few years. It was a meme to hate Call of Duty. But like yeah. Call of Duty's on its redemption tour right now, led by David Vonderhaar and his and his knights there at, at Treyarch. That's the Call of Duty redemption tour. Insanity. The the other thing that I'm excited about, like I mean, obviously we're talking about BR and all that, but the CWL this year is going to be insane. We're moving to five v five for the first time ever, which is insane. You're seeing um, some Halo pros dual 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 competing. Uh, so my, my boy Brad Don and company are going to be playing Halo and Call. They've of got like Teddy Rex now. Did they? Is that who they picked? Well, that was of, their fifth. Bro, think, Frosty. Well, no, they had a. Uh, I think one of the players is 17. 17. Mm. So it's the three of the Splice players, Teddy Rex and another S and D star. I think is their team. Is Ma there an upper age limit or only lower? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Come on the, back. This <laughs> is this is the thing though, and, and and I'll get back to that because it's it's important because yesterday when we were talking about well, first of all my brother my little brother Frosty is playing for Enigma Six now for Call of Duty. Did you know that? Yeah. Yes, that's incredible, bro. This guy's. Nasty. Our team. Uh, imagine explosive Billy, and 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 our and our uh, our Gears of War champions going to compete at MLG uh, uh, Vegas this upcoming one. So just why they, they wouldn't just, you? Huh? That's yeah. Why cool. wouldn't you? A hundred percent. If you're if you're a, a Gears pro, like obviously love your game and, and compete in the game still. Dual compete. Like it, it's it's a thing. If you have the skill to do both, amazing. Now, as far as the the you know the, the age bracket, yeah. I was playing yesterday with TP. Who, by the way, I, I like. I always know, you know, that he was good, but man, insane! Like oh, Jack, like just give Jack the, the Doritos bowl right now. Yeah, he's not. But instead really of instead of Doritos, really, put really money in it. Around. I got TP Karma and Hysteria. Think man. about that, right? So, so nasty team. But anyway, so I was playing yesterday, and I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, I'm I'm just gonna have a talk with 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 Hypoc and the boys and tell them to just you know go go play yeah go play Call of Duty BR because there's bound to be something that's happening there. Um, and then TP's like, yep, we're gonna have to drop one of them. The, because I'm gonna play, <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, bro, you're na you're nasty, 100. percent Like that, he's nasty, nasty, and that's blackout too. I mean, I know he's played a lot of BRs, but think about how many years he spent bro, playing with the just PC normal and mouse. That's what I hate about these pros, man. Just so natural at just being good. I have to think about like, okay, what button? Look, let me look at my keyboard. Press F, right, to throw something. <laughs> I was the abysmal Molotov? when I first started, but someone replied to your tweet about it or something, and they were like. I got in CS, CS deathmatch eight hours, like five hours a day, and set goals for myself. And it, 
I finally like I'm really good now. Like if you are going to make that transition and you want to speed up the yeah. process, you need you, you joke, but you're like, I'm going to play eight hours a day. I wasn't joking. Okay, then good. You, you like, should, you need, I've been eight playing, hours I've been might playing, not even be enough. I've been playing eight hours a day since the day came out. And, no you, and you need and, you're about and you need to load yeah. up. Like <clears throat> you should you should play multiplayer. You should shoot bots. Yeah. You just need to get used to, to get more gunfights. You literally, yeah, that's it. Like it's just muscle memory, knowing exactly. Try out different keyboard and mice. Try you got to mess with the sensitivity. All right, but it's it, dude. It's an undertaking. This is gonna sound super weird, okay? But when I used to play Call of Duty Four way back when, and any time that I would be in a, in a sniper situation where I would down one and have uh, have to get into the other one, I would always envision me like crossing somebody over and then pushing through two to make a layup, okay? My brain is nasty like that. Okay. I, I, Wait, I'm, say that again? Yeah, when okay. you were playing COD, you when would I was playing Call of Duty 4, and I would snipe somebody, and okay. in, in my head, I'm like, okay, to make this play, I have to down like two more. Yeah. But as I was zooming in to hit somebody, right. I would env- envision me crossing somebody and then, and then pushing okay, to two yeah. to make a layup. Right. Just my brain yeah. processed that play. Like, <clears throat> no, that like, makes sense. Like I used that. to have the Jordan logo as my thing, and I just think like Michael Jordan would hit this fadeaway. That's basically the snipe yeah. right here. So something. Holy shit, Mike. Anyway, um... Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, "What?" I was like, "There's a microphone up there." What Nick, what's up, brother? Nick, don't we look like rappers? Wrap this up. Ra- yeah, speaking of rap, wrap it up. Um, so, so I, I've, I've been in that situation where I know that if I'm playing a, a controller with my trusty scuff, that I can strafe jump sideways into a window yep. with no problem. On PC, I can barely make it through the window. Yeah. I'm always bumping into the the window, so like, yeah, like a dumb dumb. But you know? like that new FOV though? I feel like I'm Dude, fine. What do you use? Man. Like 90 why is that or not avail- Why is that never- uh, I'm playing Field on, of view. Well, he's. I think Shroud uses 113, so we're all using 113. No, we're all using 114. Well, Fwiz, so we all picked 113 because Shroud used it. And Fwiz like, I'm going to pick 114 to be one better. You know, Fwiz. <laughs> so, he, so Fwiz puts it out of 114. And remember like, remember Minecraft, ahead, how we used to change the FOV to... Yeah, to is that comparable it? to CS? Because I know CS, you use... The pros were using, what, 75 or 80? 113 sounds Listen, all I know is this. Ridiculous. It feels like you're Superman when you're running. Yeah. It is so addicting. You feel... Blackout feels so much faster when you're in that FOV. Yeah, right. That you... It just—it it looks like you're in tunnel vision the whole yes. time too. Yeah. yeah, and it's not as warped as 120, but it's obviously, obviously a little bit warped. But yep. man, it feels the game. I I cannot believe how well optimized they got it, man. Yeah, it feels great. I, and I talked about it in my vlog that I'm like I'm I'm gonna stop playing on PC because I got to dig or I changed it back to regular FOV because on the beta I was playing on on 120. And I, I just felt like I was like zooming. I was faster than anybody, and it was just mental, right? Yeah. And I and I remember saying it to the vlog. I'm like, I gotta stop playing like that. Because I'm gonna play console 100, percent and I and they don't have that option there. But it is that addicting, bro. It is yeah. so sick. I mean, just the last thing to mention, but like, there are the the the, the Aidens and the Nick Mercs who play controller on PC. What, what you, you want to just get better at keyboard and mouse, or why don't you just see how it? Have you because tried to see how it you? Feels? Oh, I know that. But Nick no, Mercs and then face that. But you, Hutch, Diesel, everybody's like. There's no aim assist. There's no aim assist. You shouldn't do it. You're going to get shitted on. Oh, I don't. I mean, I. I no I aim are, assist on what? Are get shit on. Whoa, there's aim assist on PC Fortnite if you plug in a controller. But there's not on COD. It's already been confirmed. So th- so you're telling me really? if you plug in a controller on PC and, and COD, you, you have no aim assist? That's what I've heard. Okay, then obviously wow. never use that. But, <laughs> but if that's the case, then they they need to add that in. Yeah. 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 And, and then while point, they're at it, I just would... add cross platform. True. Yeah, Vaughn, I know. I was gonna say I know you watch this, but he doesn't. Hey, <laughs> hey, just give us just give us PS4 to PC. That's all I need. I don't need mobile or whatever the hell else. Yeah, you man. That's all I need. Let me play with my friend on P- P- PS4. Let me let me let me have Will pick me up after I get down for the tenth time in a game. Yeah, because I'm sticking on console, man. I didn't I didn't decide it. You done decided. Gotta happen. Decided. Yeah. I done decided. Listen, then, then I've been playing you, a lot of if, multiplayer too, though. If, so. if you have indeed decided, do not touch PC. <laughs> Don't even look at somebody playing on PC because I'll tell you, 240 hertz on. Oh, watch! I feel like it makes me better watching Shroud and then I get on and play. I feel like watching him, I get warmed up. Yeah, no, I'm talking about you, you're watching a stream though. If you watch it <laughs> yeah. in person, like if you see somebody's gameplay in person, I'm right. talking about the, their abilities in game, but the the graphics, the way that uh, it looks, the way that it, you're oh, it just not incredible. gonna want. Bro, yeah. 240 hertz, unlimited uh, frame rate capped, uh, mm-hmm. and it has the, the whole one- inventory. Like, there's a built out inventory. Oh yeah, screen, when, you, no, when right? you open it, it's I I click it. While I'm registering what everything else is in the inventory, I'm yeah. clicking all the ammos to make sure I'm maxed at every ammo. Right. And then I'm like, okay, I need to stock for my AR. You can I just drag stuff days. off if you don't want it. Oh, no, it's not even. Oh, well, drag stuff off. 
No, it's right. It's all clicked. It's oh, not okay. even drag, bro. It's oh. so good. It's like yeah. you want these things, click, click. You want to drop these, right click, right click. You want to <clears> drop the. If you want to drop the gun and all its attachments, you just middle mouse button on the gun, and you can just right click something one time and it drops it. Hundred percent. Bro, that's yeah, how you put right. it. You put imagine, on auto run. Yeah, like, I'm over here. Like, it's like, bro, take a push in a flight. Like, fucking give me that name. If I'm pushing, <laughs> going back. <laughs> like right to bed, right to bed. <laughs> yeah. he's, like, so oh. he's in the same. He's in the same face as the meme where he's looking at the phone like that. Yeah. That's Will in his. That's <laughs> 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 Will's he, messing with stocks. He's not even using the, the the thumb anymore. He's using his index finger. Yeah, like, Come you on, gotta go in. fast, bro. Bro, that meme it is takes so long, dude. Last question I have before kissing we're ending. Yeah. What's what's your guys' favorite gun in the game? What is the what is your go to weapon? K N. Circuits kiss. Is that the zombies weapon? It's the zombies I weapon. Knew it, I knew it was gonna be something <laughs> like that. What is is that the pack a punch version of what? The death of Orion. It's like literally like a scorpion gun. Oh man, that makes me wanna play. That makes me wanna play it. Yo, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I've played World of Warcraft and been like, yeah, we need to get the uh, ring of transcendence from the <laughs> <laughs> But man, here it will <laughs> Aaron will say, like, <laughs> oh, Ginger's Kiss, it's the upgraded version of the Death of Orion, you get it by. You said it like you knew what the fuck I was talking about. Yeah, Ma- I was makes me want to play MP5. It. Like <laughs> Think of that. If you ask someone to cut for you like this, oh, I'm a big fan of the MP5. Now it's <laughs> the Ginger's Kiss dropped by the Death of Orion. Like, fuck. Dude, Jack went. <laughs> right, he said that, but my brain's like, do, 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 do. <laughs> Wow. So yeah, I like I like the uh, the KN two. <laughs> oh I like the, the, uh, the ICR in multiplayer is good though. I fuck with People the ICR. so apparently if you put double grip on the ICR, there's mm-hmm. no flinch. Yep. Yeah. And that's where I dropped the mic for this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> imagine imagine formal with a double grip. You shoot at him. You hit him with a sniper, and he's like this. <laughs> like you're just Aim higher, I guess. All right. That'll All right. do it. That'll do it. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode number whatever, 50, so what does it say, 59? What? 67. 60, 47. 34. 40, 50, 50 minus 30. Just like, how many states are in there? 13 minus 50. 30 30 30 minus 50. 50. Goddamn 47. 47. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.